Welcome to Philadelphia. <laughs> Don't get caught up slipping, because we are still in the hood. Recognize215.com, that's with the W, 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 W. Here we go. I know you heard it, a murder was swerving through your urban in the suburban, sipping bourbon, burning you while I'm turning. You gotta like me, your mentor, captain. I master crafts, how we mummify classics. Wrap up the masses, move out the flash. All for a moment of clarity when I clash with the market, that's a class. They say I never pass with flying colors, I'm just a flying further than they. I'm sitting here in Philadelphia live outside of the North Star Bar where these guys just performed. Now let me tell you a little something about what's coming out of Philly right now. Rittenhouse. What's going on? Chris Conway, uh, one half of the production team of Rittenhouse. What's up world? It's Charlie K, the MC. Rittenhouse in the house. What's going on? My name is Chris Shalomar, and I'm other half of the production team for Rittenhouse. We're, we're missing some of those sleeves. Yes, we are. And over there, Dame written house. Man, oh, management. The glue that management. holds it together. We're also missing our other manager, Muhammad. Too. And a few members. Yeah. How did you all meet? Well, um, I met Chris. What year was it? That was like 2001 through, uh, through his cousin. I uh, heard about him doing rhymes. So we were both early in the game. Very early. You know, he needed an MC. I needed beats, and um, you know, I used to come over his house and he would play. Chris had like a million beats. He had like a million beats. And he would hand me like these beat CDs with like 30 beats on them like every Thursday. And I would just take him to the studio, and I was in a rap, you know, in a rap group at the time, and we would go record and whatnot. So that's how me and Chris developed the rapport. And then later on, I think I'm, I met Chris in 05. Yeah, we, we actually met, the crazy that we met actually in late 05, December 05. You guys are making the beats live on stage, like that sets you apart from most of the other hip hop artists coming out. Like, where did you get that idea? We were in the studio recording, I would just say, just, you know, they would just say record, and I would just play the whole thing out, because it's a lot easier that way, it's just like, alright, and then here, and then here, and here, and then it's done. When we were doing shows, it's a thing of like, having full control of the music. Every show becomes unique, becomes custom, tailor-made, specifically for that crowd or for that venue. You know, we've had shows where we've rocked more, more guitars and more heavy bass lines when we deal with, you know, a rocker kind of group. And then there's times when we dealt with more just straight hip-hop and drums when we deal with, you know, a hip-hop group. Speaking of uniqueness, tell me about the cake. The Bat Cape. I need to know about the Bat Cape. Like, yo, he pulls out Bat Cape, puts it on. I got the Bat Cape in Great Adventure. Just because I saw a lot of people walking around with capes, so I said I wanted the cape. I bought the cape just so I could run around the house in the Bat Cape. Now, I told Kush I had the Bat Cape. He immediately said, yo, you gotta do it on stage. Now, me being a little more conservative than Kush, I said, no. And let me tell you, that was like, the highlight of the show. I mean, up. besides the beat making in the background, because that was just like, what? But they only pulled a line. Fine. Now, tell me some of the barriers that you've come across up until now that you've kind of overcome together so far. Yeah, let's address that. Let's, oh, let's go. We've been the same people we were all this time. And you want to come to the 200th show? What changed? My barrier is this. How unique Rittenhouse is and what we do on stage, one barrier that we're starting to come across is... In terms of records, where are you at with that? I know you sent me a bunch of records. We're working on an album where we got also a grand scheme, which is a remix, mixtape, you know, done by me, myself, you know, Kush and Chris. We got a bunch of material that hasn't even been released yet, so... Um, I must say, Mahogany Blue is one of my favorites. I that is that. definitely a one of the first singles from the album. Can I say that? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 205, Philly, all day. Shots out to the 610. We got Providence, Rhode Island, and two. Let's go. go, go. Tropical blend, paradise eternally yours. To whom it make a serve from Charlie the Boar. Written letters from the house, cause we give out to do more. Live from the main event, overseas on tour. I'm overly protective like a mother hover in the force. Over the microphone, they getting blown off course. So tell me what your greatest moment has been so far. Ooh. 
My greatest the one. The one. Sure. Right. All right. My, you start for you start for my greatest moment was being in Portland, Maine, uh, supporting De La Soul 20th oh, yeah. anniversary show. Packed oh. out, sold out house. How many people was there? It was like 650, Six, 650 people there that were so receptive and willing and wanting more. And it was just beautiful to say, when I say written, y'all say house. And when I say written, to hear the whole place go house and wow. love saying it. And not say it because they're being ordered, but say it because they want to participate. When I say written, y'all say means move the crowd and when you see the crowd move that's 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 what we do for me that's 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 what it's about for me thank you guys so much definitely catch the radio show New England we're coming for you again Paul <laughs> to, to Vertigo holding the camera can we do this one time just to make you family make Vertigo family too we all got put the hand in okay, yo, okay, come on man let's go get that's right we put on top and on two or three we all say house one two three house who in the hell left the gates open I see the world is a picture that's undeveloped the negative that was selling so passionately it's all cool in the game for those who hang